Bridge. Get away! I am a damn ammo. Get to safety. What the fuck is happening, sir? Oh. He didn't have a heart, but he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Man, listen, if you ain't see the end of that first video, shit went left. They killed my bitch, I ain't even see you was a fine ass officer and my fine ass FBI detective here. We still got you though. Yeah. Oh, damn. I think he did, y'all. Let's gather up these clues. Back at Cauldron Lake, Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The mind place. We're not. What they, I guess they want us to do it, right? The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch. It goes click. Show me the clicker. Lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too, Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a Taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place in the Dark Place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. Required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside waiting for her. Man, it's really writing the book. Oh, no, I don't wanna hear that. I don't wanna hear that shit. Shit scared me, man. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Stuff over here. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Background cases accumulate clues about broader ongoing topics. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Hmm. Yeah, that, that didn't go there. That didn't go there. Damn, which one of these? Here we go. Thanks, Saga. I'm not even really looking. Oh, I can zoom out. Body organs there. <laughs> what goes up here? No. Where do you go? <clears throat> okay. Get, get out of the mind place. Are we going back to Cauldron Lake? We want to look in here. Can't be opened on this side. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. That's the last place I want to be. It's back at Cauldron Lake, bro. It was the... We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Yeah, don't nobody care about her? Y'all don't give a damn. You don't give a damn. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Can't open this with my bare hands. Easy talk. Just gave us some bullets. Now I'm on hard, so I don't know if I don't know if it's going to be less ammo because you know how they like to do when you put it on hard. They they like to put stuff on, you know, less ammunition. So dodge is L one. Y'all just L1. I guess we're gonna have to get used to that then. Yeah. So where I could I could go dodge a circle. The flashlight is L1 or L2. Alright, we we're about to make some changes, bro. Dodge a circle. Flashlight shall be L2. Flashlight boost shall be R2. All right, hopefully that works. Back to the cauldron lake we go. They're a fine pair. Hello. My client has been held here long enough. 
Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. How y'all so calm and people just got beasted downstairs? Y'all didn't hear them gunshots and shit? How many times do we have to do this, Walter? Huh? I want out! Let my wits end. Something bad's going down. I can feel it. Let me out! Yeah, what year is it? Why are you dressed like an L.A. New War character, bro? Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paper... Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, a Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Yeah, let's get some more people killed. Think we'll actually find Nightingale the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree, but it's our best lead. Maricetta won't roll over on the issues. All right, I'm just trying to get back to the car so we can fast around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. The car was right here. I'm not taking a look around. Get me the hell out of here. <sighs> Rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. Is the car marked on the map? No. Why the hell not? Oh yeah, it is. I lied. I lied. I lied. It's right there. They love to do weird stuff with their maps, man. <clears throat> Controls map was weird too. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tell me, mention him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh ha. -huh. The same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Oh, here's my question. I gotta Google this real fast so I know how to structure this shit. You know what I'm saying? And Alan Wake too. How many chapters? 19. Okay. I definitely don't want to have 19 videos, so. <laughs> Might do two to a uh, bit. We'll see how we're gonna do it. I've been thinking more about the cold of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. I 
Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted hello. signs. Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. Who? And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How do you know about that? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskola brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ja vihta. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all for now. Bye bye for now. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. It feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do <coughs> we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. There we go. We've seen this symbol before. Hmm. Could I? And then, where's the other point of interest? Oh, this. It's right here. Like this one. There we go. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. How do we get in this store right here, though? That's what I want to know. The point of interest, and I don't know how to get in there. Don't know that I can get in there right now, anyway. Or maybe later. I'm just following. <coughs> Wait, let me talk to him for a second.
after we <coughs> found the Nightingale, what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Monsters? Overlaps? Rituals? What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detective. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved, forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. So... Wait. So we're here. We were following footsteps. And before we do this, do we have any new stuff to put down? I was not. Ah. Symbols there. I didn't see that. The cold of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cold case. Exciting. Exciting. Is you crazy? Dead men coming alive and shit. You talking about you excited? Right. Okay. We're fought. These are the footsteps here, but where do they go? I can't. Uh. Kind of hard to see. We're gonna go down to the lake in a second. There might be a collectible up here. I know we was here earlier. I, I really ain't trying to do that shit. This wasn't open last time, was it? You got me tripping, bro. Grab this. A flare. Ain't nothing else up here, though. You sure. There's another lunchbox. Exactly. Pair off the map once you find it. No, it doesn't. The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? I 
I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Pray yourself. We couldn't even walk into the water earlier in the first video. Limited. I need some hoes for that shit. Aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covered. The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. I mean, I was just at the witch's hut a minute ago anyway. Right up there. I hear shit all behind me. Man, it's, it's so damn easy to get lost on this game. Oh, that's some bullshit, man. Oh, I left some items back there. That camera, that quick turn, I ain't mean to do that. that. Anderson, thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The page described the hut being lit and mentioned a fuse. So how, there's a fuse. So is it outside? This was not here. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Of course. Of course y'all do this shit. Let's let's head up here. This fuse is busted. Oh, brilliant. This one looks good. People should really stop littering though. I need to take a breather, man. Let's go to the case board, man. My nerves is, you know what I mean? This shit gave me the jitters, brother. Light is the key to stay safe, but for something more to be revealed as well. Got more lunch boxes. Oh, these don't go here? Hmm. 
Interesting. Which one of the... That's not right. Ah. Uh. I keep forgetting there's other spots. I gotta zoom out more. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. All right, that's telling us what we're going to see. Is there something else? Yes. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. And I got more clues from that. Is witch's ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, yeah. I know we're going to have, you only have three? Damn. Okay, so this is a little safe spot here. Another page, making progress. The image of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. the overlap i need to find nightingale's heart read the line imprinted on it plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign then push the heart through the hole in the sign nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue where is it now oh, do the profile damn it Still can't do nothing with those. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga, 
Watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign. Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town. But she trusted the pages. Was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. The words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. Crazy bitch. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist leaned close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? For a while, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I'm just over there. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey, I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. All right, we got to go back to the general store. Who is calling me, man? In the middle of the goddamn video, huh? Rich. <clears throat> Come on, can I live, bro? Slinks. Can I live? Shoot that. A cultist. Come on, hey, 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 Slinks, my boy. I can't, come on, bro. I can't work under these conditions, eh? Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, you mess with the equipment. Mm -hmm. Mess with the equipment, my boy. You gotta get down, my guy. Y'all heard messing with the equipment. He, he rubbing his head on the on the uh, mics and all that. Like Nightingale. Dude, I accidentally keep using. Okay. The text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Why 
you so calm about this? this? Oh, hey. Let's put shit where it go. Found the heart in the fridge, just like the page said I would. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? Where to? Are we going back to the witches? Get it. Oh, check with the Lady Fortuna at the counter. Bro, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know I don't look up locker. I don't, I don't find locker combinations. If I don't find we, you, I'm gonna take my ass right on Google. I don't. If I don't find this code, it's his second. Man, fuck all that shit. Ain't nobody doing all that, man. Ain't nobody doing that. Hey, look. Alan Wake. Locker code right here. Yes, sir. For the sawing off, my boys. 739. <clears throat> Ain't nobody doing all that shit. He's not a real detective. I've been a detective all motherfucking series. I got time for that. I do all other puzzles on the other games, but I'm not finding a locker code. Got a gun. And there were all, there was also a, a trauma pad around here. They say I'm right next to it. Why don't I see it? Is it in here? Yes. I think we're all good to go in here. Once you bust out the flashlight, you can't really put it away. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Witch's Ladle was... I'm gonna have to walk... No, I missed. All right, we can go back to it later. We need to walk down the river, right? That's where I'm going, right? So I turn. Here, Max was kind of chilling right there. Oh, cool. I should probably shouldn't be eating while I'm playing this shit. The man's so choke.
know. I need to do it with that sign over there. When you look at the map, there's a little, they put a little blue thing there. I think that is telling you where you need to go. I think. Actually, hold on. Oh, let me see something. A little message just popped up, and I don't know how I made that happen. Maybe if you sit here in the screen for too long, it does it. I don't know. Hard in there, baby. It's probably gonna be in the chapter. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Chatter for real. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Yeah, you ain't gonna be able to talk to him. You're in the overlap. Do you need me? Yeah, there's no map for this. Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Am I? Am I going the wrong way? Please help me. What was that? This is right. This place is looping like a nightmare. This shit got me bugging out, bro. Get me off this crazy ass game, bro. What the fuck going on right here, man? Is it a one hit kill? Oh, it better not be. I can't see shit right now, bro. I don't really have.
safety. What the fuck is happening, sir? Yo. This shit is like my mind. running out of ammo. some bullshit now okay you move backwards here then he's gonna bust out like the kool-aid man in a second Killing me. How many times do I have to fight the same dude? shit. I don't even know where he went. Actually, okay, whatever. They're wow for this.
See how they keep putting ammo back. alive man ridiculous I'm so In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Hey. Are you okay? No, no! It's my fault! They got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The, the dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Get me off. I can't do it, my heart. My heart. Like the video, see y'all for part three. Peace.